Hello, and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLaughlin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox. Hello, Micah. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm fine. That is the nicest you've been to me all day. Well, you won't get up and do anything for your fucking self, and it's fucking annoying. Micah's like, hey, what? Micah's like, hey, there what's it the? Is. She goes, there it, it came out quick. She goes, what's the password on the Wi-Fi? And I was like, it's blah 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 or blah blah blah. It's in the bedroom. Go look. Why don't you just tell the people what the password is to your Wi-Fi? It's all lives matter. Yeah, <laughs> it used to be. It did for real. It used, used to, to be, be build the wall. <laughs> it was very embarrassing when Chris Daniels came over, historically black gentleman came over to our house and he and he goes, uh, what's your Wi-Fi password? I go, it's all lives matter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He goes, is it really? I go, yeah. And then he laughed, but like not in a good way, you know, as he put it in. But anyway, in a nervous way, not in a good way. <laughs> so I'm down here. I'm down here in the basement, you know, uh, watching something on Kensington, Philadelphia about all the heroin addicts. Not Mike saying could, hello to his girlfriend. I said hello to you. God day. damn it. From you. You said, oh, I'm, I'm going to go. Anyway, <laughs> Snagrass, shut the fuck up. So. Oh, God. We haven't um, even introduced you yet. All you right, Tyler leave. Snodgrass is here. Welcome to our 100th episode. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm honored. So, uh, <laughs> Michael was supposed to get Bonnie McFarlane. Could have never, never, never got her to. You can't pin down a star. <laughs> <laughs> they belong in the sky. Yeah. But I'm downstairs. Mike is yelling at me way close. She's way closer to the bedroom. I'm like, just go look from the bedroom. So then well, I had to go up no, there and look because you you just won't go do it. It's fucking annoying. Here's what's missing from it. Here, Tim also couldn't admit that he didn't know it, so he's like, "It's five one three dash lemon dash blah blah blah." And then I'm like, "Okay, can you repeat that?" And he's like, "Just look." And I'm no, like, I said, "But you already know. You know it. No, you I just you know but it. But I was it. wrong. And also, I said it's either blah 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 or blah blah blah. I'm not positive. So is what and I, I said. so I just asked him to repeat what he said because he was going before I was ready. So just and go he, look. Then he starts, Okay, then he starts yelling at me, and I'm like, wait, what did you say? And then he marches up fucking furious. He's like, it's right here. I'm yes. <laughs> Yes. I'm like I would have just say just be like, I don't understand Michael, how any I don't know how anything got done in this house while I was gone for a week. These people here it's are cra- fucking lazy. It's, they won't do anything for themselves. Yeah. It's wild. I get I get up this morning. I get up this morning <laughs> this to a community. I get up this morning to a text that says, "Hey, dishes are done in the dishwasher. Sorry, I haven't been here for a week. Didn't use a single dish. I put them away though. I'm a good roommate. You know, Actually, but you didn't even put them all away. Half of them were just sitting on the counter above. Those the were thing. dishes that you had left out that were on the counter no, already. No. Yes. Yes. Also, Yes. No. Uh, yes, Micah, one hundred percent. Yes, you fucking left out a bunch of dishes. I put no, the ones the in cat, the sink in the dishwasher. The I did not know what the ones on. I did not know what the ones on the counter were for. I thought maybe you were in the middle of cooking something that you needed to make for several days. So I was like, I better I leave know. these out for Micah. Yeah, anyway. I guess you didn't want to. All right, listen. It's our one hundredth to- episode, and welcome to the show. Now, as our guest, we have Tyler <laughs> Snodgrass, the snotty available. with the body, no, snotty with you. the body, birthday boy, du jour. Du jour. Mm. I don't know. Birthday boy of the Dijon. day. <laughs> yeah, well. It, it is his birthday. Is it your birthday? When was no, your birthday? Last week. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank we you. should have had him on for our 99th episode. I know, but I was gone. But you blew it. I don't know how anything gets done around here. <laughs> I was gone. I had to go. Snodgrass. I was in Indianapolis, Indiana. Beautiful place. I heard. Mike told me about it. I did my corporate gig that oh, no one was God. allowed to go to. Went great. Almost said fuck one time, but the rest was pretty clean. Nice. 45 minutes clean. So that was good. Shout out to Tim. T- Tim set talked more about this thing than he did time on that show. <laughs> he has logged about three hours talking about this corporate gig to only 45 minutes of actual material doing it. Yep. And I shout out to my cousin who asked me how my uh, ev- my gig went that no one was able to go to because he listens to the show. And shout out to the guy that works <laughs> with my cousin. I didn't get your name, but shout out. All right, and shout out to the millions of people who did not ask because they do not give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to Matt, who came by the bowling alley yesterday and gave me candy, who was in town for the Keith oh, and the yeah. Girl weekend. Matt, thank you so much for the chocolate, and um, that is all you gave us. Yeah, he gave us also a bag of gummy bears, but I ate it all before Micah could have any. I was stuck at work. I was having a tough day. You needed a treat. How does yeah. anything get done around here? I don't know how anything gets done at the bowling alley without me. The place is in shambles when I'm not there. People not worth getting things done for themselves. It's just like living here. I go from one fucking disaster to another, Snodgrass. Yeah. 
So anyways, well, how was your week? Well, it's my fault that I have to sh- go to work. <laughs> Unbelievable. Michael, what'd you do while I was gone? I worked a lot. Oh, I went no. and did a bunch of podcasts. Uh-huh. I had a bunch of shows. I went to Tyler Snodgrass's birthday hang in the park. Yay. Was how really was that? That was work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how was that? How was did, did Did you have a good... Uh, uh, turn out for your birthday. Sure, it was a chill little time. We had some pals were there. We sat on blankets. We drank beers in the daytime. It was great. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, well, I had my first non-alcoholic beer there. You did? Yeah, mm. tasted a lot better than beer. I got to be honest. Really? I never really liked yeah. beer, but non-alcoholic oh. beer it just tastes like kind of like beer soda, which is pretty good. Mm, okay. that's good. What was it? Was good it the was it the Brooklyn Lager non-alcoholic? That's what we have at the bowling alley. No, it was like some brand that I'd never athletic or something. Yeah, like that. The, it yeah. wasn't oh. a beer brand. It was just like. I don't know some bullshit. You get it like one of those hipsters, hipster bodegas. Nice. Any any stars? It was a, it was come a out? craft brew. Oh, the stars were out. Nice. Bobby Condon was there. Actually, oh. there was a star there. <laughs> was there? Did Stalter come? Yeah, Stalter came. Yeah. Wow. There was a celebrity sighting. Mm-hmm. Megan Stalter, who's famously will be canceled by this show the next time we have Bobby Condon on. <laughs> Is that what he promised? No. Wait, we were, she'll be canceled or No, we'll Michael be is trying to get Bobby to tell stories to cancel her. He goes, she just got famous. We can't do that to her now. I was? Yeah. That's funny. I did it. <laughs> hey, shout out to Megan Stalter, whose movie just got into Tribeca today that I Congrats, saw online. Meg. Congrats to you. All because of us. Uh, because your we, friends. We chose, <laughs> because we chose not to cancel you. Your friends who allow you to be talented. So that was that's good. What you what uh, did you do anything? You get any good like b- birthday food? Mike and I like to go to a nice Ooh. place for Micah's birthday. That's a good question. Yeah, not for Tim's birthday. For Tim, we just strap on the old feed bag and watch him go to town on some oats. <laughs> 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 All right, Mike. I'm not mad at you anymore. That was pretty <laughs> funny. Want him back. <laughs> yeah. I always be mean to him. When I, <laughs> when I well, lack in compassion, I make up for in the opposite of that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny. Uh, did you go anywhere nice? Uh, we went to a pl- uh, yeah a Thai place called like Lum Lum, I think. Ooh. We like Thai food a lot, so me and my girlfriend went there. And then at a different point, on a different day, that was not the park hang. Uh, Nicky Martin, who I don't think you know. But you I know, know Nick Martin. Nick, Nick Martin was in town. And what? So I hung out with Nicky, which means I, of course, accidentally got higher than I meant to be. Oh, yeah. And uh, That but, motherfucker's <laughs> insane. <laughs> yeah, was he a drug dealer? <laughs> no, no he's, so, he's just a crazy person. Yeah. yeah. He's just a former comedian who's, I think, constantly high. Yeah. Did he quit doing comedy? I think, yeah. I don't think he really does it in L.A. since he moved there. He moved there. Oh. The Nobody does comedy and... in L.A. Okay, good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. But he's not pursuing it Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. That's what I mean. But what I was going to say was I got a little high, which I don't normally do. I'm not good at getting high. And I walked back home. It was like 20 blocks or something from where I was. And I stopped and got a Korean corn dog for the first time. Oh. And it was like the best thing I'd ever tasted. <laughs> Wait, really? Because we have yes. a place, I think, that's Korean corn dogs around the corner. It was so good. Really? What makes it What makes it Korean? Because it's like, it's like almost like a funnel cake dough yeah. instead of a corn dough. Mm-hmm. And then you can get it coated in cinnamon. And then you put sauces. Like, like sugar si- cinnamon or just cinnamon cinnamon? Like sugar cinnamon. On a hot dog? Yeah, but it's like funnel cake dough. So it's like a dessert yeah. hot dog oh, with it's like actual when they put... hot dog in the middle. Yeah. And then you put savory sauces on the sweet cinnamon. And, and it's, it's good? It's I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. <laughs> I couldn't believe <laughs> that it. That actually does sound kind of good. <laughs> and it could have been that I was uh, high out of my mind, but right. also. Yeah, that, I, I mean, that's got to help. I want to go back. <laughs> yeah. like, it was great. What's up with Thai places having names that make me want to not go there? What, Clom Clorm? Clom Clorm. <laughs> that place that's is a, good. That's place is fucking great. It's good as fuck. But I, I'm like, I'm like, hey, everybody, I've got a great place to go. Let's go to Clom Clorm. <laughs> you want to go there or you well, want to go to Lum Lum? I loved our old Korean place, Chin Goo. Yeah, Chin Goo. I'm Chin-goo. like, come on, just yeah. say you come on her face. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. say it's face just cum. It, just call it face cum and let's get out of here. Chin Goo. <laughs> I think that's a search on X Hamster. <laughs> X hamster. Remember X hamster? Everyone remembers X hamster. Is that a site? It's a Scott deep Tyler, hole, which is also a search on. 
What? I don't know. Is that an actual? Yes, that a it's porn an actual site. Of oh, course. Okay, I'll check it. It's out. Richard Gere's porn site. <laughs> oh my god! There it is. Bar- bars, uh, bars. Oh hello. Bars. <laughs> Wait, it's 1994 calling. Yeah. <laughs> They said that joke sucks. Yeah. Well, that's the only year that phones still work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Sorry, I'm doing a funny joke premise. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 1994 called. It wants its one, joke too. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, no. No. <laughs> wrong again. Podcast. 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 Bo- I was reading the word podcast, but I meant to say Tyler. Tim has a note pulled up called podcast format, as you haven't done this 100 times. I get confused. <laughs> I pull it up so I can have my little... I Listen, yeah. man, we have this This podcast is segment-driven. It is a right. segment-driven podcast. Right. Professional show. Yes. And a, a show which Shane Torres did not like for some fucking reason. He said it was off the rails. Yeah, he said our show was off the rails. I'm like, there's no... there's. <laughs> this thing is more on the rails than you could ever imagine. Yeah, emphasis on moron. <laughs> Huh? Oh, Micah, <laughs> quit trying. Internal pun. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I trying? <laughs> yeah, now you're trying Am to I... be on instead of just being on, and it's disgusting. All and no right, one really Tim. Well, it. I mean, we can't all just not remember how anything how goes on our own show. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anyway. do you have anything to plug? This is the plug section. The, oh, you do the plugs early. We do them early so that people can skip this part. I love that. Okay, this is the time <laughs> to skip. Um, tell you what, if you like podcasts that are on the rails, much like this one, I do a podcast with my buddy Danny Maupin, uh, all about country music for people that hate country music. Oh. Or if you like country music, it'd be good for you too. I hate country music, so this would be something I like? This would be something for you, because ah. we, we try to pick a country song that is objectively good, uh-huh. not like what you would hear on the radio for the past 20 years. Right. We talk about the story behind the song. We goof around, and then we add it to a playlist. And Danny Moffat, funny comedian and uh, uh, universal idiot. Yes. So that's a nice time. Oh, that's uh-huh. an idiot you can plug in anywhere? Yeah. Danny Moffat, <laughs> you put, I'm not kidding. You bring Danny Moffat anywhere with you, you're having a nice time. Yeah. You are having a good time. And the, are you, a, are yeah. you a, a, a country music fan? As of the The bitch last, plays the banjo. I do, yeah. For the past, like, six, oh. seven years, I've been a country music Shit, fan. Shit, I didn't know you I, were a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I me. am on Tim. I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm trying too hard to keep this show funny for once. <laughs> so what's it called again? Oh, sorry. The podcast is called Take This Pod and Shove It. Oh. That's the name. So well, that's fun. Give it so a shot. You and Danny Moppin, both two hilarious guys. Oh, thanks. Take This Pod and Shove It. Listen to that. Mm-hmm. And while you're listening to that, why don't you go on over to Patreon.com and check out the Great Hang Patreon, patreon.com slash great hang. You can check that out. And I have, I'm in September. I'm opening for Tom Takar in uh, Arkansas Who's or something. That? Uh, <laughs> he's one of those LA comedians you never hear about. Uh, okay. And in November, I'll be opening for Tom in Boston. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have even further dates to plug now, Micah. Oh, you're guys wait, you're opening for Tom in Boston? Yeah. Wait, I want to go on that trip. I'm I'm coming. Well, we <laughs> might go. Andrew is going to Boston sometime this summer, so we might be able to go hang out with Andrew. Some t- oh, okay. He said he's going to let me know. That sounds fun. Shout out to Andrew Hi, Sullivan. Andrew. Shout out to Andrew Sullivan and all my friends who came out to the Black Circle uh, show on Sunday in Indianapolis to see me have the one of the best sets of my life. It was really nice, you know. Fucking shoving it in my friends' faces who don't believe in me in, in any way. So, yeah. fucking, that was good. Wait, and, where uh, in Arkansas are you going to be? Tim, not even know. your Little friends Rock. believe okay. in you? What? You're trying to become famous. Your friends don't believe in you? They never have. What friends? Uh, what friends don't believe in you? Who are they? Name Krebs. Name, name. Krebs doesn't believe you. Krebs made a, helped make us our theme song. No, he didn't. That was Leffler. What's the difference? And we don't even use that. Oh. These are names? I don't know. All of Tim's <laughs> friends are named Dale and like cheese and shit. You know Dale. <laughs> I know Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Dale. Micah thinks there's like nine Dales. There's, there's only 50, one Dale. There's at least two Dales. Well, and by the Dale. size of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. Anyway, hot yeah. at hot underscore comic sixty nine on Instagram. Micah, go ahead. Uh, I will be at Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie opening for a uh, friend of the show, Karen Fee, and this Friday. Tickets are this almost Friday sold out. Come for the comedy, stay for the foot content. Oh, yeah. God damn, I did her fucking, I did her podcast to Only Fians, and she is barefoot on it, and I'm looking at the comments, all foot comments. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Ooh. All the comments, I did it too. All the comments are like, 
Tim is great. This is really great. Tim is so funny. And then, but after that, it's like, I love Karen's feet more than Tim or whatever. No one said I was funny. It was all, <laughs> it was all Karen's feet are incredible. No, all the Look comments on, feet. Wow, all the comments okay. on Tim's episode are like, Mike is ugly. It's like, what the fuck? I wasn't even on, <laughs> I wasn't even on that one. What the uh, hell? Oh, man. You guys have any fans in Trinidad, Colorado? Oh, I was about to be saying no, and I still mean no. <laughs> I don't know. Why? Where's Trinidad, Colorado? I don't a- know. It's a desert town. I'll be in Trinidad, Colorado at a festival at the beginning of May. I should mention that. What festival? The Chief Comedy Festival. Is it for potheads, I guess? I think so. Yeah. Is, are I mean, you do- all are- drugs are legal in that weird desert cowboy town. Oh, so. cool. Yeah. Are you doing your little podcast We're there? doing the podcast, but also Tyler Jackson will be there, Zach Peterson, a bunch Whoa, of some pals. Some old school around. Chicago dirtbags. Yeah. Bags. yeah. That's a nice time. It'll be a real dude's rock kind of weekend. Hell yeah. yeah. I like that. Well, Tyler, then we've gotten to the part of the show where if you have a new bit you're working on, Mike and I will help you punch it up. Okay. This is the scariest part of the show. Yeah. We <laughs> help. We don't. Reveal, we're not going to trash have you ever had anything I'm working on. Have you ever had your comedy punched up by comedians who aren't as good as you? <laughs> yeah. It's a because, oh, I would say. Because that's not going to happen today. I'm actually like really good at this. Micah doesn't really help them. Huh? <laughs> okay. Everybody knows I'm the worst writer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So I, I thought about this because you told me this would yeah. be happening. Right. I wrote. I wrote a big thing that I copy and paste to everyone. Yeah. Because I kept forgetting to tell people what to do for it the very show. Professional. Thank you. Well, Micah reread it and changed it. But. And edited it and changed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> rewrote the whole thing. Yeah. Changed every word. Um, mm-hmm. No, when he says, hell, blah, 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 I let him keep that part because I was, thought it was folksy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hell, you could even do both. I'm like, yeah. oh, my God, eye rolls everywhere. Listen, <laughs> I was thinking, I, in my head, I was like, let's make a form letter mm-hmm. that sounds like something a professional like dork would se- send. So I got my, I got in like, yeah, that was I got in like Micah mode. I got in, what? Oh, you got in Micah mode? Yeah. <laughs> Professional dork. Yeah. Micah tried to talk over my fucking absolute savage dunk on her. Damn, I feel ripped to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got go. her feet Let's bag. put the pieces back together. Uh, all right, I do have a bit. I, spit that bit. It's spit a, that bit. Well, we should call spit it. Spit, we should call this spit that spit bit. That bit. Yeah. I'm right. right. Hold on, I'm changing the podcast format. <laughs> okay, good. All right, spit. How do you do? spit? S P I T. Okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Bit. Wait, how do you think spit is spelled? Huh? All right. <laughs> this is what I, you know, one, two T's. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> English is a hard language. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, Gallagher. So this, <laughs> <laughs> you're or there. All right, go Speaking on. of, so my new bit is I, yes. I have a big hammer. And yes. Oh, yes. Now we're cooking. And I don't know what to smash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you guys How about the patriarchy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be funny, though. Gallagher and we smash oh, the patriarchy. Gallagher. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. There's that's my new bit. There. I like it. Tim, you hate it. No, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> I just think Too that physical. I just don't like that men are getting dogged all the damn time. <laughs> Sorry for inventing things and keeping the fucking world going, but I guess we're the bad guys. Go ahead. Can you name something a man invented? Oh, mm, the peanut. Okay. No, that's not true. Peanuts grow out of the ground. <laughs> George no, Washington you Carver invented them. <laughs> So I knew he meant peanut butter, but peanut is a wrong answer. <laughs> Tim's like, um, air. Oh, um, yeah, the okay. concept actually, of ideas. <laughs> actually, the plant was invented. Actually, you know what? I am right because air, the planet, peanuts, they were all invented by a man, a man up in heaven, God. Yep. Wow. So how about shut up? Yeah, because you definitely look like God's image. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he made yeah, me Yeah, God's just image. sitting up there with a shitty white tee with sweat marks. <laughs> it's not sweat marks. These are marks from carrying the... Uh, uh, AC unit yeah, up he's sitting there. God's sitting up there Greece. stammering all over himself, not knowing how to spell the word spit. <laughs> <laughs> just just all God's image over here. So anyways, Tyler, you have a bit for yeah. us. I got a bit. This spit is, that bit. This is a bit that I have done before. I did it on your show, yes. but it's not done. Mm. I like it, but I think there's 
there's something there's more meat on the bone and I haven't been able to find it. Mm-hmm. Well, Tim will get to it. I knew it. I, I knew she was going to fuck immediately when you said meat, I was like, "Oh, this fucking whore. <laughs> She's going to say something fucking shitty." I just well, know it. I mean, you don't want me to say that. Stop eating the fat left over on my plate. You quit offering it to me. <laughs> I don't pick it off, you Micah. Fall go- for the trap. I don't pick it off. I'm not like grabbing it when she's do- like the waiter's like taking the plate away. I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, there's meat on. <laughs> Micah so goes, do you want? That. Micah's like, do you want this? And I'm like, yes, I would like that. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> bitch. I'm not. <laughs> you fucking you like asshole. Just your time. You're like, I guess I yeah. can eat the fat. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you offered it. That's his excuse. <laughs> you offered me the fat off your plate. <laughs> So, Tyler, you have a bit. Yeah. I've got a bit. Some would say I have a bit. Yeah. Um, show us your bone. So, the, yeah, let's, let's pull the bone <laughs> Show us your bit bone. Show us your bit bone. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so, the bit is basically, I, mi- I talked, I mentioned getting high earlier. Oh, cool. I'm not good at getting high, but a lot of my friends are, especially my now alcohol sober friends. Mm. And I, I am jealous of them because they get to choose between getting a mind high or a body drunk. Or a bo- mind high or a body high. I already fucked up the bit. And I wish, as a person who drinks, I could get a mind drunk or a body mm-hmm. drunk. That's the premise. And then I'm like, but even then, it would probably be a dice roll because it's all bad anyway. You'd be like, bartender, what can I get? And your bartender would be like, well, do you want to be sad and horny or do you want to fight a blood relative? What kind of drunk do you want to get? Mm. That's that, the bit. That is interesting, but they do have that. If you want to be sad and horny, you drink wine. If you want to fight and get drunk, you drink whiskey. Wait, really? I feel like I get the same kind of drunk regardless of what you I You do, huh. because I heard from a guy, not just a guy, a scientist on the internet, uh, <laughs> there's no difference in the alcohol you drink because it's all just alcohol. So you don't get a different kind of drunk. It all just depends on the mood you're in at the time. Mm-hmm. So the alcohol you drink is all the same. It's not if you drink tequila, you start fighting people. The same alcohol in tequila is the same alcohol in wine. This you're is welcome. patently not true. Tequila has hallucinogenic properties. So does gin. Hallucinogenic? Yes, absolutely. That's like they they're both uppers also in alcohol. Yes, maybe yeah, the actual acetyl yeah. alcohol that your body turns it into is the same, but what about the other components within that context? And this is not a bit, but Tim, you are wrong, and I will not let it slide. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologize. Thank you. To fucking nobody, because oh. I heard it from a scientist, and Micah is a man. Uh, Tim's like, Dr. Drew himself. Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Drew Pinsky told me that. He's like, Dr. Joe Rogan and his band of... Merry Jordan. men. <laughs> Just merry men. Um, that is... Yeah, they should... It's interesting because, like, weed does that because alcohol already does that. Kind yeah, of. Like, right. there is a reason why you pick one alcohol over the other, and it's not just taste, I think. There, mm-hmm. I think you do get different kinds of drunk of different stuff. Mm. Mine is purely taste, and I only drink White Claws now, I've decided, because I get far less hungover. Oh. Like, for instance, like, when I drink, like, when I d- drank vodka, mm-hmm. I'm like, that's when I wanted to be racist for the evening. <laughs> Oh yeah, you did. I, I'm ready to be racist. Right, which but is I why need vodka's help. Which is why I became a whiskey drinker. <laughs> <laughs> but whiskey makes you fight, or no? Whiskey, or the- whiskey was one of those ones where I'm like, I don't think I'm drunk. I'm having a great time, you yeah. know. And mm-hmm. like, and like, I don't know why I'm having a great time, but just you're punching a person. Yeah. Which is like, I don't. Think I'm I'm a and the next thing you Whis- know, you're staring at the floor of a bathroom at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Mike is like, I-, I love whiskey. I'm having a great time, even though even though there's all these Mexicans here. <laughs> <laughs> especially especially <laughs> because yes. yeah <laughs> all my friends are here yeah uh yeah i feel like i drink based on i what i drink depends on how quickly i need to get drunk like mm-hmm. if it's an all-day thing it's all cheap beer but right. if it's like okay we can hit it then i'll have a whiskey yeah hmm. but anyway. but yeah but like is there a a body maybe, drunk versus a mind drunk it all comes to you're right it all comes together. maybe you could tie yeah. that in too because you could talk about the amount of time it takes you to get high off of edibles and smoking. So, like, mm-hmm. if like smoking is like drinking whiskey, taking edibles is like drinking uh, uh, beer all day or whatever. 
because it takes longer to get into your system. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Am yeah, I yeah, wrong? Yeah. No, no, Am I right. fucking wrong? I Am I wrong to, again? Do I, I have to, to apologize to, to fucking no. nobody again? Listen. I had to catch up to the level you're on. Yeah, yeah, the I premise work. is wrong, and therefore the bit cannot stand. <laughs> what is it? How, what's wrong about the premise? <laughs> I don't believe. I think you get different effects from alcohol. It does do that. But you, there is no... Oh, you think Tyler's bit is wrong? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought you were coming at me oh, again. Oh, I see. No, but also with weed, it's like, yeah, there's a mind higher body high. sound. That's also bullshit. Like, you just get high. Like, people were yeah. like, oh, it's just a body high, but my mind's super clear. It's like, no, it ain't, my dude. Yeah, you're, you're retarded right yeah, now. Yeah, you're mumbling. <laughs> you think you're speaking. Right. Really. I mean, clever brained. Clever brained. <laughs> clever brained. Yeah. <laughs> there, uh, there's a neurodivergent comedian that went on a big rant about the R word, and I... And they were like, and I was at an open mic and someone said it on stage and no one got mad. And I think they were talking about Micah. Wait, someone who they were talking, someone told me it was actually about them. And now I forget who now it was. No, I know oh. who it was. You do? Oh, okay. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to say, but. Okay, well, we'll I talk know. We'll talk about it after the show. Was, yeah. I thought it was about Micah because Micah's been saying it on She's stage about her uncle. Bit, yeah. But my bit's so good. Yeah. How could anyone be mad? Right. Well, that's, yeah, that's the point. That's what I keep saying. Yeah. That's why I keep telling people not to be mad at Bill Cosby. I'm like, he's so funny right. why are we mad at him because he's not funny anymore oh yeah. i got to get back in the all the of writing of comedy have passed yeah yeah all right well that makes sense then. yeah Never i guess mind. here's my question about the bit is i was wondering if there's any like tags like i've been trying to play with something like well is there a hybrid of like those two mm. examples i give or like if a, or if the bit is not sound, like what then what is the indica of alcohol? What's the sativa of alcohol? Okay, like, well the know? hybrid well, the, is the a beer and a shot. Long Island iced tea. Oh, oh yeah. The last time I had those was at a movie, and I was hungover for two days. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I had Long Island iced teas. I had five of them, and I threw up under the table we were sitting at. Under the table. I just went. Be right back. It and pop. <laughs> Pop back up, had to wash it out with my Long Island iced tea. <laughs> uh, God, I miss booze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. So what's the punchline now? What did you say at my so show exactly? What I did at your show, I mean, I really under, I really undersold it. <laughs> right. Here. But basically, the punchline is... Stand up and do it like regardless, <laughs> Regardless, it would not be a great option because you're mind drunk or you're body drunk because it would be like, okay, sure. Do you want to be horny and sad or do you want to fight a blood relative? Uh, That's uh -huh, the punch yeah. right now. And then I've been trying a bunch of different tags, and it, it, it's, they're all fine, but I don't love them. No keepers so far. What you could do is, like, you know how, like, the weed has all the weird, stupid descriptions? Like, go with that, but, like, make it specific to each mm. alcohol. Like, yeah. whiskey is the one that makes you fight a blood relative. Uh -huh. and vodka makes you racist, as we all list. know. Yeah. Right? That makes you racist, as we all know. Oh, you know what you could do? Where are my vodka drinkers? I, where are my vodka drinkers? Yeah. You guys are racist tonight. Just be like, guess what? Black Lives Matter. And where am I? <laughs> and I duck. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Micah, so do what Mike is saying. Make a big list. Mm -hmm. Say it all really fast and memorize Ooh, it. Ooh, and then you can get an applause, get an applause break. break. So then the people applaud yeah. the cheapest form of comedy. That's yeah. what I'm trying to get into, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of jokes. Yeah. You get, I'm, jokes I'm, suck. <laughs> I'm done doing jokes, too. I'm more of a truth teller now, but... Yeah. I'm ready to memorize and just <laughs> say things regardless of if the audience likes it or not. But I think that's a good I, I think that could be good tags is uh, yeah. what Micah said. Okay. You know. I like it. And yeah, also, right. like, some – we I found uh, uh, weed on the ground. Everyone knows this uh, that listens to the pod, but I found <laughs> weed on the ground. It was called Cat Piss. You okay. know, so maybe yeah. you could find some names yeah, that also describe what, like, the taste of what you're drinking. Sure. So, like, Bud Light is cat piss. Cat no. Piss. Well, Bud, they went Bud low, Light is so good. now they're... <laughs> we stand by Bud Light and whoever their spokesperson is. I'm sorry, whoever is. their spokesperson is cannot deny the fact that it tastes like cat piss. I don't think it tastes strong enough to be cat piss. I think yeah. a, oh. a natty light is more like a cat piss. Right, okay, so Bud Light is more like turtle piss. It's more flavorless. Yeah. yeah. It was so <laughs> fun. I saw, yeah. I saw uh, fish piss. Fish piss. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Norton was on Gutfeld talking about Bud Light, oh and he's God. just like, why do any of you care? Yeah. That's so he goes, funny. He goes, he's like, 
be, just because you drink Bud Light, that does not make you a trans person. He goes, your identity is not tied to what you drink. This yeah. is insane. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Good for him. What did Gutfeld say? They were he, uh, I, after this message. And well, they <laughs> cut it off. They they had Jim Norton give his whole explanation, and then they cut it off at whatever Gutfeld said because he was about to go. Well, actually, he started with what? I, well, actually, and then it just like cut. And that's how you keep the comedy rolling. Yeah. That's the most watched. I know. Late night show. He's the new king of late night. Yeah. Everybody's saying it. He's the king of late night. Uh, his writers are not in sa- or not in the writers guild, so they get paid whatever he wants to pay them. That's, That's so awesome funny. because that means during the strike we'll still keep getting our gut film. That's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> they may have to get better writers too cuz the writers who are striking are like, "Well, I need a little money, you know." Uh, um, oh man. A friend of ours uh, applied to gut felt as a joke. But the thing is, they don't take, they don't make you do like a uh, a Pack. submission, a packet. Yeah. It's just an application. It's just a regular job. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's like when we applied to be radio hosts on Sirius. Yeah, they were just like, <laughs> really? Oh yeah, it was like a drop down form. Yeah, great, perfect. Yeah, it was for the Howard Stern. I still haven't heard back, so I don't know if I have it. If I don't have it, Tim thinks he's still up for it. I think they can check. even consider the him. serious website. Well, will, I know we'll let you check your status. I got a nice rejection letter. I got no nice rejection. One. Kind one. A one. I got one, which I thought was nice. Yeah. Oh yes. Here we go. It Howard let Stern. You know. Let's see. It did. Here what if you what if you've been working there for months, Tim? That would be sick. I haven't been getting any freaking <laughs> checks. If that's the case. <laughs> Here we go. Logging in. Log in. And Password. it says. Password. Same as the one. All right? lives matter. <laughs> All right. It says under review as of 1-5-23. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure you're still in the running then. <laughs> Dude, they're probably struggling between me and some other big name. <laughs> yeah. It's me and Brad Garrett going for the same thing. Well, I'm rooting for you. Well, that's good. Well, Snodgrass, I think we helped you out a little bit on that. I think so. You so that's me a good. lot to think about. Yeah. <laughs> a lot to drink about. Yeah. All right. Now, always go with that applause break thing. That People really like it because these people who go to shows are freaking sheep. <laughs> and they don't care. As long as they're just yeah. entertained in some way. I mean. And talking about booze is a safe bet anyway. They're already at yeah. the clubs buying drinks. So they're yeah. already drunk. I mean, it's sure. what made what's his name famous? Larry Miller. Oh, yeah. It's that famous Larry Miller bit. Five types of drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to another friend of mine about this, and he had me watch that bit to make sure I wasn't doing anything too similar. Oh, yeah. And luckily... Not even close. Well, there's also that bit about, like, when the alcohol fights in your stomach. Whose Mm -hmm. bit is that? Because that's what I was thinking. Maybe it's a little similar. Because it's like, it's giving the alcohols different personalities. Yeah. I forget whose bit that is, but that made somebody else famous, too. Well, just look it up. I'm sure it's on Dry Bar somewhere. (laughs) Uh... (laughs) Micah, yes, it's time for you to shine. Oh, finally, for once on this podcast. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> it's the hot take of the week. Hot take, somewhere in the city. Micah, <laughs> Micah comes up. She finds it. She finds a, like an "Am I the asshole?" or something on the internet. Uh huh. She gives us just a brief description, and we have to give a hot take immediately, whether the person is right or wrong. Okay. So whether and if it's a man. They're never in the wrong. So but we've got a hot take on their hot take. Yes. No, no. They don't. We're not getting. We're getting a situation normally. Oh, okay. So we have to give our take on it immediately. Just off like a sentence. Okay. My I, found a, I found a doozy today. You found, for the 100th episode? For the 100th. This is 100th episode worthy for sure. Okay, good. Bonnie, good, good. you missed out. Yeah, Bonnie. <laughs> damn it. All right. Hmm. Am I the asshole? For not cleaning the shower drain cover my roommate installed since I have short hair. Hmm. If you were to ask Tim, he would say not the asshole, but for how much he yells at me about my hair in the shower. Well, that's because it was everywhere yesterday. And also, also, I clean the shower drain a lot. So I think if the shower is backing up, you should just... It takes two seconds to wipe it up and throw it in the trash. Yeah, but it takes another few hours for me to stop vomiting. It is disgusting. And Tim's cum is all in the drain. So I, I pull the hair up, jerk. but then the cum is all covered in it. I do not jerk and off I in the shower. I've never jerked scent. off in the shower in my fucking life. He's just saying that because his mom listens to the podcast, but that thing is full. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's not true at all. But that, that drain is full of my hair and his jizzle. No, don't say it like that either. That's nasty. <laughs> Snodgrass, you have no hair. 
I know. That's not true. Well, all right. I have you, a little bit of hair. A little bit of hair, but, but what do you think? This is he a, is a mammal. God, I think Tim, that's a no. Some... I think it's a no. I'd say you're not <laughs> an a, asshole. Say, he listened to a scientist that said I was not a mammal, actually. Okay. Thank oh, no. you. Yeah. Uh, I think you're not the asshole necessarily. Okay. All right. I know See, that's you a have to caveat. Be, yeah, I'm going to say no. I'm just going to say no. If it's a short hair versus long hair situation, the drain is clogged and it's a long hair person's hair, then you're not the asshole for not cleaning it out. All right. Here we go. I, 22-year-old male, am originally from the Middle East, and I live with my roommate, 21-year-old female, who is English. She oh. has really long hair and sheds everywhere while I have short hair. We used to have a problem with the shower. <laughs> it doesn't shed or doesn't shed. Does he give any, does he give any caveats on that? He doesn't. All right. All right. Uh, we used to have a problem with the shower getting clogged with hair, and I kept having to ask her to clean it, which she did, but she would complain about finding poop in it as she picked it up. <laughs> 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is another waffle stomp situation. Oh my lord! Um, where I grew up, it is considered unclean to use toilet paper, and toilets have a handheld mini shower we call a shatafa, a shitafa, more like. <laughs> And shit off. It should be. I wonder if he's even trolling us, Shatafa. Um, and used to, sp- to spray clean our bums. I'm not religious, and this is not a religious thing. I just find the thought of smearing poop around to clean it disgusting, as some of it probably adheres to the skin. So after I poop, I clean up in the shower. The only reason poop got stuck in the drain is because her hair had clogged it there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> it would have gone through. This motherfucker needs to be cleaning up poop hair, bro. Yeah. Damn. That's it. That's it. Oh my god. No, that's so now rude. who's the asshole? Oh no. That well, guy sucks. That, it's that guy's asshole. Yeah. <laughs> like he's the wow. His <laughs> asshole's the main character in yeah. Am I the Asshole? Oh my god. Oh gosh. no, there's that's... poop in it, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, but shit, is he having his asshole? Like, like, there's like chunks coming down? What is yeah, he? A little flex, I guess. Oh, Maybe my Maybe there's Lord. whole chunks. Maybe he fucking shits right it in makes the, me, no, down the drain. No, stop talking. I'm going to... He does not shit right into the drain. Yeah, See, he acts is, like he oh sprays it out, but he's taking hot shits right into the drain. <laughs> this is why I don't clean the shower, Tim, because there's all this shit and cum in there. <laughs> yeah, there's no <laughs> shit in both. it. There is not in it. No, there isn't. Mike, shut up. That's not in All there. That shit come, blood, oh, sweat. Is a- there is blood in there. There's always blood, but that's the both of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, gosh. Micah, that was disgusting. That was incredible. <laughs> I feel like they're both they're both the problem, obviously. But also, if you are trying... How is she the problem? Well, Wait, it's not the her hair, fault. The hair is still gross. But she's supposed to dig it out of a poop hole? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> neither like, of them should be doing what they're doing <laughs> well, she should clean her hair and he should not shit how in the can, shower how can she clean her hair out of a toilet drain that is disgusting well, it, until he as... stops shitting in the shower okay, she cannot be fair. expected to pull her hair out of there well don't they have a I don't like when you shower like oh I have five hairs Gone, well, right? she put a shot thing cover, but like the cover's oh, catching the fecal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well then, I pull, I whirl it around with my toe, toe, and I yep. pull it up onto the side, and I leave it there you to see. Till I get it. Till well, it's your I, hair. I always he leaves it up on the side as a warning to be like, look at you, look at what you've done, oh, and then I have to, s- then the cum sticks it there. No, forever. there's no cum. <laughs> I've never jerked off in the shower. This is insane. <laughs> This is insane talk. I've never combed in the shower in my freaking life. There's probably, I, for, on my never, period, there's probably like viable fetuses honestly, in that hair plug. I'm kind of more interested I in don't, why you've I never don't, done it's, that. Because uh, it's a lie, Tyler. It's because not, it's a or dirty. Or what excuse he's coming up with. It's, it's not a lie. I just feel like it's a public area where everyone has to step and no one wants to be walking in your cum. Where everyone has to step. They're by where you. Everybody's got fucking bare feet in there, and you There's don't want. There's soap and water up. right there. You just clean it down. I'm not cleaning my feet. I'm bent over cleaning my feet. That's fucking so hard to do. What do you mean clean? Oh do. my god! Talk about the cleaning the feet controversy. He's like, I can't clean my feet. There's cum on them. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're get the, disgusting. And then they get freaking stuck to the floor. I can't jerk in the shower. Then I'd have to clean my feet. He says. <laughs> 
Okay, the so most I guess insane I, argument of all time. Oh, but I guess, to, I guess, I guess if that's insane, you're supposed to I clean your feet anyway. Who cares? Yeah. I, guess, I can't bend over. I guess this I is just the proved, fattest argument I've ever heard. I think I just proved that I don't jerk in the shower. Because if that's insane and that's my go-to, then it must be for real. Yeah, no, your feet do smell bad. You also yes, they do. You do not wash the bottom eighth of your body. He doesn't. <laughs> I get to my knees. Yeah, okay. The rest I'm is up to correct. God. Yeah. <laughs> the rest is up to the, the big The rest man. is God's domain. The peanut inventor himself. He'll I don't care. I, I never am touching my legs you know, or anything. I'm not, I don't come in the shower. People walk around in there. People, what people? This is a public space. The it's just you, pays me, for this. and Tommy McNamara before a party. <laughs> <laughs> He did ask to use our shower ones, and my I go before listen, a major party. But we're, you know how a we have major party. You know how we do. You know how we do. Sure. We invite everyone in the community to hang right. out, mm-hmm. and right before one of those, sometimes like, Tyler doesn't get invited because I forget to invite people. I just tell him if he hears about it to come. I forget Jesus sometimes. Tim. Not offended. I always forget. Sam Evans got upset with me too. Mo- call, most called guest on this show. <laughs> Let's give him a call. You want to call Sam Evans? Yeah. I'll give him a ring. All right, let's call. This call is Sam. a little segment called Let's Call Sam Evans. <laughs> I can't believe Shane thought this show was off the rails. Look yeah. at all these segments. Look you at have. all these segments. Wasn't that a good Am I the Asshole, though? That was a that good was hot take. That was a yeah. good hot take. Yeah. I got you guys all. That was all. a hot shit. That was, was a hot shit. Yeah. Can you believe that? Just, just That's crazy. Every time he shits, he hops in the shower. That's And so much shit. He probably knows we're going to call him for the podcast and won't pick up now. It's the only time we ever call him. <laughs> Not to party. What, what are we going to call Sam about? Specifically. Ask him about jerking off his yeah. car. He'll love that. We'll just leave it on his machine. His machine. Please leave your message for five. Nope. One, two, Tim. Oh. Stop. Tim. God damn it. Hi, Sam. Investigative journalist Tim McLaughlin with the Great Hang Podcast. We are calling today to see if you drop loads into your shower. Either shit ropes. or cum. Either shit or cum, possible blood. If you, <laughs> if you waffle stomp or blow loads into your shower, please give us a call back. Uh, you've got my number. Hopefully yours didn't get onto the podcast. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, cool. Well, all that's right, all we can do for and now. If you, and if you did hear Sam's phone number, please call him and ask if he shits or blows <laughs> loads in the shower. We need we, answers. <laughs> uh, we will not stop till he changes his number. No. This is bullshit. All by that sound, I think we all know what's happening. The news is back. This is such bullshit. The news segment is back, Tyler, because we did a little thing on the Patreon, patreon.com slash great hang. We did a little thing on the Patreon called the Passover Quiz to see how Jewish Micah was. And it turns out, not Jewish at all. I wasn't Jewish enough for Parade Magazine. Yeah, we went to Parade.com and took the 50-question Passover quiz. The the 50-question Passover quiz. I had to get 25 right to keep the news off our show, which, by the way, this is the worst segment on the podcast, and I failed everybody by not doing this. But some of their questions were like, what celebrity became famous during Passover one year? I'm like, what the fuck kind of a question is that? Yeah, but she didn't know because she's an idiot. So uh, Tim couldn't have answered more than three, guaranteed. Whatever. I ain't, ju- I ain't a Jew. Uh, shout out to the guy <laughs> who works with my it. cousin Mike who likes the news segment. And shout out to everyone in the world who likes the news segment. We're back, baby. Everyone in the world. Here's, this, is a little, this is from the AP News. Okay. City, colon, Schwarzenegger repaired a utility trench, not a pothole. That's not news. Los that's Angeles. Not even, that's not even an interesting headline. Los Angeles. That's not even an interesting <laughs> headline. Why would that headline exist? Well, we're about to find out because here's was the it article. Misreported as a pothole. Los it? Angeles, okay. AP, the quote giant pothole end quote that see, Arnold. Do you see why this is bad already? <laughs> yes. That Arnold Schwarzenegger said he recently filled on a street in his Los Angeles neighborhood was actually a trench that had been dug. For the utility work, according to the city. He, do you see how he finishes the sentences? According to the city, and then he looks at us for approval for, city. for finishing reading a whole sentence. 
<laughs> Southern California Gas Company had covered the trench with a temporary asphalt that was to be replaced with a permanent surface. The Los Angeles Department of Public Works said in a statement. <laughs> Please, please do something to stop this, Tyler. We have notified the gas company of the issue, and we need for them to maintain the site pavement until the permanent paving is constructed. What made you think this would be The statement said. No, stop it. <laughs> Tim, I haven't listened to a single word no, you've said. The whole, nobody the whole has. Time. Nobody cares. What is, why would you even pick this? Usually, you Arnold think Schwarzenegger, the governor. It's Schwarzenegger. He hasn't, he hasn't been that for like 15 years. After months of heavy okay, rains that have right. turned roads Ignored. into tire-popping <laughs> Swiss cheese for many commuters, Schwarzenegger struck a chord when he released a video of himself Did and a crew fart? filling yeah, Tim a... farted. No, I didn't. Tim farted It wasn't cum. <laughs> if there's any what? cum that's getting in the shower, it's because I'm fucking farting it out my ass while I'm showering. Well, maybe that's the... Maybe we've solved the case. Shut up! I'm doing the freaking news. <laughs> Oh my God, Tim! It's over. Just I gotta stop. reread this whole thing. No, oh, no. Don't after, no. <laughs> after <laughs> months of heavy rains have turned the roads into tire popping Swiss cheese for many commuters. Tire popping Swiss cheese for many commuters. Jesus. Schwarzenegger struck a chord when he released a video of himself and a crew filling a depression on a street with packed asphalt. Tim, patch. you're filling my depression right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Today, bleep that for YouTube. <laughs> Today, after the whole neighborhood has been upset about this giant pothole that's been screwing up cars and bicycles for week weeks, I went out and fixed it with my team. Tim, he you wrote tell a story? on Twitter. You should do it in his accent. Oh yeah, do that. Uh, it's God, not don't a- you know how to tell a story? I always say, let us not complain. Let's do something about it. Here you go. Pretty, big, pretty good. That was better than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, me too. Yeah. A passing motorist paused to thank the actor, who also filled another smaller hole. Ooh. Uh, Maria Shrivers. <laughs> <laughs> SoCal Gas said in a statement that an upgrade of a pipeline system there, oh, fuck, that an upgrade of a pipeline system there was completed ding, on ding, ding, ding. And that was the news. It's not that done. Was, We're this almost is pro-pipeline propaganda. Tim, how long is I this article? There's like four more sentences. What is AP? American Pipeline? This is... <laughs> Look, there's a gas stove on the advertisement. Yeah, this Well, now is, it's a... Yeah. Now it's a black gentleman, but it was a gas stove Yeah, earlier. big pipe. The utility crews returned to the site on Wednesday, a day after Schwarzenegger posted his video and leveled off the patch he'd completed to make it stronger. It it expects to finish the permanent paving of the site on Tuesday. Teamwork, happy to help speed this up, and thanks to the crew for pumping up my fix. The former governor tweeted Friday... Okay, you forgot to do the accent again. I didn't know that it was him doing it. Because you cannot read. He cannot read. I don't read ahead. I don't know how. I'm not able to do it. It's insane. All right, are we done? Let me see. Yeah, we're done. Do you want to remember her from Storage Wars? No. Okay, then no, I guess we're done. (laughs) Next. All right. Well, now it's time for a little segment called Reviews for the Podcast. This is where we go on Apple iTunes okay. and see if we have any five star reviews. I forgot to pull this up ahead of time, but here we go. Going to the sh- going here, here. All right. We have, uh, looks like two new reviews. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice. So, uh, let's see. Where Good are job, we? Here? guys. This is, uh, let's see. A review for the Great Hang Podcast with Micah and Tim. Thank you. This was put up April 3rd, 2023. So all of these are a little older because we didn't have an episode last week because we were traveling. I was. Five stars. This is from Doug Drew. Ooh. Uh, The Great Hang Podcast with Micah and Tim is an engaging and fun podcast that explores the world of music and musicians through insightful interviews and lively conversations. With its passionate hosts, thoughtful questions, and diverse range of guests, this podcast is a must-listen for any music lover looking to gain deeper understanding of the industry. What? Highly recommended. Disclaimer, this review was composed by ChatGPT. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, diverse That's guests? So We've had funny. like maybe one black person, and they're all comedians. 
I'm yeah. going to leave a review right now. Hell yeah. It won't show up till next week. I know. Tim, you owe my podcast a review. All right, I'll give your podcast a review. One freaking star. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. Five All stars right. only. Uh, here we go. Wait, you Title. said there were two of them. I'm I know. On the I'm show going right now, and it's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, tell them to drop the news segment. Except, don't write that. Except don't for the news segment. <laughs> don't save a little for the people for uh, next week's. Uh, add an extra sentence that we'll find out next week. Okay. Yeah, leave a little shit in the drain for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This, <laughs> this one says, always hilarious, five stars. This is from Samitich42069. Let's go. Hell yeah. Right. Love the news as a segment that Ooh. annoys Micah and we prefer blank. I don't know. He means sh- blank as in nothing. Uh, that's what I'd prefer. But would, Oh, yeah. A Shark Tank segment where Tim pitches business ideas. Oh, okay. I could do that. Like that that would be better. I like that idea a lot. Yeah, that was a, that's a good idea. I could do that, I guess. We'll call it Shark Tank. <laughs> we'll call it Shark Tank? And <laughs> because I all Tim's business. ideas will be shit. All right. And now we have to read, of course, from our um, YouTube, our last episode with Maxi Tight Balls, old Max oh, Bruno. Maxi Tight Balls. So this one's from, hold on, let me sort Orlando by. Gloom. Orlando Gloom. Uh, what, did, what else did we call him? Uh, Orlando. Jack Sorrow. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> uh, Snake Nelson writes. <laughs> so Snake Nelson writes, this podcast, this pot. <laughs> oh, okay, Tim. This podcast has it all. Great dynamics, love and hate, Whoa. talented guests. Keep it up, slashers. Hell yeah. Uh, Don Juan says, if the news segment does not return, I will commit suicide and my blood will be on your hands. Hell yes. Oh, damn. All right. I'm glad you're still alive, Don Juan. We need somebody to fuck our he bitches. He might be dead. No, he's, he had to follow. Maybe he might he have is. killed himself right after that. Steve Bala <laughs> says, funny show. <laughs> like the Youngstown, Ohio shout out, we do have a large Italian population, which makes for some of the best pizza in between Chicago and New York. You guys rock. Keep on being a great hang. Uncle Jemima says, the orgy before 4G riff made me hard, and I blasted. And then... <laughs> Hell yeah, our fans are the best. <laughs> there are a bunch of blasters <laughs> listening. And Lori Smith said, hey, Micah, how's John O'Donnell? Uh, he's doing great. He just recorded a special, um, and I can't, I'll can't. i let you know when it comes out, because I was there for the recording, and he fucking crushed it. All right, and because okay. we were gone last week, we have to read from our episode that we did. This is a lot of reading. This is a today. lot of reading. Do you want me yeah. to help out? This is good practice. No, for you I get. No, I need the. Do practice. you want Tyler to help you? Um, no, I can do it. This is from our last um, episode, the no, most insane <laughs> snack review list. This is when we we reviewed oh. a snack list that was okay, fucking insane. I'll give you if you haven't listened. This is to one it of yet, our best episodes, I think. Insane, My, tasty, or confusing? It was or the, Snickers were number twenty five. That was last. On the list. Whoa. It was... It was a crazy I list. would say this this episode belongs in a best of for us. It was great. John Smith said, this was great, and I'm only left to wonder where beef jerky lands as far as snack <gasps> food. That's a great point, John Smith. And it is a top 10 snack. I said, I wrote in, I said top three, but that's just me personally. Okay. <laughs> More lists. This was hilarious from Miriam Zapata. Cool. And here we go. Snake Nelson again. This guy slithers his way all over the place. You guys are fucking insane. Keep it going. <laughs> Love it. Are you sure it wasn't fucking insane? <laughs> no, it wasn't. You should do it. All right, Snake, consider oh, that's it. That's fun. Danny like says, good episode, you goobers. <laughs> Only downside was not enough toe. I like it when you guys have some kind of subject or something cool to go over. Also, we have the same middle name, Tim. Shout out World War I generation names. Grady. Yeah. So that's oh, cool. I was like, Kraut? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we Win With Frunk? War says, hey, Micah, you going out with John O'Donnell? Tim is much cuter, though. What the hell? Why does everyone know. keep asking about John O'Donnell? I don't know. This is the same person, but are you, is, going, are you going out with John O'Donnell? Wait a second. What if it's John o- John F. O'Donnell writing that? I don't know. It looks like a lady wait, in the picture. are you going out with John O'Donnell? What are the you? Hell? Answer the question. Are you going? Am I going out with him? Yeah. Obviously, I am. What? Oh, no. I have a podcast with him right now where he plays the <laughs> dumbest man alive. Uh, Slyon says, a step above Necco Wafers, Tums, 
LOL, this got me good for some reason. Because it was funny, sir. And then Robert F. says, have either of you heard of a Dutch crunch chip? Have you guys heard of that, Dutch crunch? No. He Is says, that where you fart on a chip and yeah. make your partner eat it? <laughs> <laughs> he oh. said, kettle chips are a salty dick joke compared to these huge, delicious chips. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds That's me, a though. wild description. Trey Brown called us double Dutch because we both fart under the covers. And yeah. I <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> anyway, uh, shout out to Trey Brown, friend of the show. Shout out to Trey Brown. We went to Winston this morning and had breakfast, and it was good as fuck. All oh, right. Nice. Now that we've got the five hours of reviews out of the way. Sorry about that, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was our a birthday big... present to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a big reviews for the podcast day. If you want... Please review or leave a review on Apple iTunes if you could. Five stars we like, but you listen, this is a free country, and I wow. believe in freedom, so you're free to leave whatever uh, review you'd like. Or leave a comment on the YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave us a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. Now, we're down to it. Do you have, like, a fun party story or a tip for being a great hang? Yeah. Okay, go I for do. it then. I have one, or what would you prefer? I guess I have both in mind. Well, if the tip is quick, do the tip and then tell the story. I think my great hang tip is uh, know when to shut up. That's been a tip on here a lot. Oh, yeah, really? it's okay. usually because usually we do that this part at the end of the podcast, and it's on the top of everyone's <laughs> mind. <laughs> I'm exception to the rule. <laughs> I'm How'd a great hang and I never stop talking. <laughs> How'd you know I was talking? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. aimed at you, Tim. Did you feel, did you feel attacked? Yeah. Uh, my great hang tip is to uh, don't shit in the shower. That's a pretty good one. I yeah, think. Tommy. Don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's all Tommy's come. <laughs> From that one time. That one yeah. time. The guy in, the, in our fucking, old apartment. The guy fucking yeah. throws ropes. But it is a good tip. It, here's how you know it's a good tip is because a, people come on, continue to come on and yeah. say that it's a, a tip right. that you should have at a party. I that's mean, a we, great, that's, it is a great point because you always think like, oh, I got to be talking. I got to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. It's a party. But you're right. No one to shut up. When, is, when do you think <laughs> you should know when to shut up? How do you know when to shut up? Um... I well, my default is probably listen to my friends talk, <laughs> but I feel like if you are noticing your friends starting to tune out, or if no one else has said anything in a while, it's like well, you're there to hang out with other people. You're no one came to see you hold court at a bar. That's you right. Know? Unless you're a celebrity, in which case they did. Right, that me, might be true. Ryan Reynolds. Guys like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Tyler is, you're notorious for being quiet at a party, and then you just pop in with something real funny and then go back to shutting up. Yeah. I'm that's, notori- that's, I like that. Okay. Well, that's my earliest memory of you, because, mm-hmm. you know, when Tim introduced me to his friends, he's got so many guy friends, and I, like, couldn't yeah. figure out which one was which. I thought you were Eric Monocle half the time. That's fair. <laughs> also, Monocle, Monocle also known. The bald whites get confused often. But I also, mean, how also, else do you cat- there's, okay, there's, like, 25 white men. Yes. Of all, all of various age thirties, uh-huh. you know. And if a white bald comedian committed a crime, me, Condon, Monocle, a bunch of guys. Line up. <laughs> also, Monocle is known for being quiet and then throwing a zinger in there That's and then true. going back to being quiet. Yeah, but. maybe I meant Monocle. No, I mean, Snodgrass is very I, funny. I, I no, do it's, it too. It's, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not grass that I meant. But also, I remember reading a uh, thing on like the art of conversation, and, mm-hmm. and the rule was that you should always try to like pipe in, mm-hmm. but you should never talk for more than thirty seconds. What? So if you hear yourself, talk, so Tim is now. This is shattering Tim's world. <laughs> It's more hard. than 30 seconds. Tim's like, but all my five-minute stories are so good, and I like to tell <laughs> yeah. them back to back. Yeah. How are you supposed <laughs> to tell multiple five-minute stories if you can only talk for 30 seconds? Oh, my God. That's my number one thing I fucking hate when people do. They'll, they'll be like, two things. And I'm like, nah, bitch. You get one you thing. You get one. <laughs> and then we're passing the feather. Yeah, <laughs> then we see how that one goes. Yeah. We'll consider the second. Yeah. All right. Passing what's your party feather. story? Um. <laughs> So I, I, I was thinking of a couple, and I Pick think... Pick the best one. Yeah, so anyway, just to... I'm still, I guess, deciding <laughs> in my Says head. Tim. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm Narrow sorry. Narrow it down. I'm Tim sorry I can't decide. I've partied so hard I can't yeah. decide which ones are the best. Um, this is... It's not like a, a the story story, but I want to shout out my buddy Nick Savarino. Maybe you've met him. I, don't I know. have he's met in, Nick. He's in Austin. Someone comic. told me I was very similar to him. Probably me. Oh, maybe. I rem- well, it could be. I mean, you guys remind me of each Oh, is Michael Good? Oh, yeah. 
He goes, you're like yeah. you're like Nick Savarino if he said uh, more slurs. Totally. <laughs> hey, Tyler, he hijacked your story again. Okay, immediately. Well, <laughs> shout out to me out in Austin. <laughs> Shout out to Nick. Uh, yeah, Nick's great. We started together in Missouri, and then he's been in Austin for a while. He's having a good time. Great comic. Um, but we used to get very drunk right after college at this house I lived in in Missouri, and he is a prankster. Mm. And so what he would always do, kind of like the way, like, you know, maybe I stopped talking in a conversation for a minute because I was just more comfortable being quiet. Nick would fully disappear. And just go commit pranks around the house that you wouldn't find until later. Oh. Which was very funny the next day. Like shitting in the shower. Yeah, more, like <laughs> more like he would like, he would, maybe, I don't know. To me, it was very funny. But he would like take two different things of similar shapes and just swap their location in the house. Or he would do this thing that this I don't think he'll like mind. This sounds like a prank a librarian would do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's very funny. It's like next morning, finding all this shit uh, that's being rearranged. What, you mean but like would... a ketchup bottle and a shampoo bottle? Yeah, something like okay. that. Okay, yeah, all yeah. right. So, yeah. But he would do – I think he started doing a lot was he would disappear. He would then, uh, after no, nobody had seen him for a while, run through the house naked, screaming – and then he would disappear again and come out, put all his clothes on as fast as possible and be like, you guys see that naked guy? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> That's funny. So he's done that no sh- less than six or seven times around me. <laughs> Man. Man. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like That's a naked good. guy for a second. <laughs> At a party when Andrew would disappear, he would go light a fire somewhere in the house, and then we'd have to go find it. <laughs> yeah, that's like an extreme version of what he Light a fire in the house. He, go, he, he would come back and then stand there quietly for a minute. He goes, all right, I don't want to alarm anyone, but there's a fire somewhere in this house right now. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> How big would it get by the time you found it? Well, it got really big once, and we threw it out on the porch, and then the porch started to catch on fire. But there was a bunch of snow on the ground, so we ended up throwing snow on it. It was fine, but Wait, what do you mean you <laughs> threw it out? You can't throw it was in like a, it was in like a big cardboard box. He'd put a bunch of trash in a box, and then he'd light it in on fire. In a box that's also flammable. <laughs> yeah. Oh so gosh. I we like carried it out like fast and threw it on the porch, and then and it like caught, and then well, and then someone like tried throwing trash on it for so like a big bag of trash on it to smother what? it. And then that caught on fire, and then we had to throw a bunch of snow on it. And then we threw a bunch of alcohol on it. <laughs> and then we found a gasoline can and uh, a box of matches. And I wish you would have just ran around naked. Yeah. <laughs> More fun. Nick Maybe got a hog a on him? Yeah, tell us no. about the hog. Damn. See, it's, Sorry, always, it's always people with small penises who do that kind of shit, too. He is like Austin Me. He is fearless. But he has a huge ass for what it's worth. He has a ma- famously large ass. Really? Is it funny looking? He's got a, He's like a Pixar mom. He's got a dumper. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But it's a good looking ass. I'll Mrs. Say. Incredible himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, That's anyway. sick. That's great. That is a fun little prank, though. Yeah, right. Just got to come back with all your clothes on. <laughs> uh, some Superman shit. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, perv Superman. The pranks I used to pull in college, like, for parties like that is I would, like, disappear and, like, put on the host's clothes and then just start pouring food on it as I walked around. Like, I'd be eating, like, drinking and just, like, dribbling. I'll be like, what's wrong? You're just... <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, why are you pouring food? I don't know reason. It's... I thought you when you said that, you <laughs> were trying to pretend to be the host. No, well, <laughs> you were, no, like, just... imitating them, but no, you're just fucking up their clothes. You could, like, take a while for them to figure out what was happening. They'll be like, why did you care what's going on? I'm like, wait, are those my fucking jeans? <laughs> <laughs> my fucking shirt? <laughs> uh, oh. Good That's times. fun. That's fun. Now we're getting down to it. We've got the last two segments of the show. Micah, did you get a dead person? I did, but I forgot his name. But I, I it's I, a man. It's a man. You know, what? I'll just describe him. Tyler, do you have a dead person to talk shit about? Oh yeah. All right, Micah, go. About this, but yes. You describe yours. We'll figure out who it is, and then we'll do ours. Um. So this is a person who killed themselves this week. And it is a donor for Ron DeSantis who killed themselves after he was discovered um, sexually assaulting a teenager. And Whoa. I think that is just so fucking disgusting to donate to Ron DeSantis. And I'm glad you are in hell. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did Ron DeSantis give back any of the money that he got from this pedophile? Well, he already. What do you mean, get it back? Did he, he give it back? He give it just oh, give like back the donation? The yeah. Oh yeah, the guy shutting down Disneyland is returning money to a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> do you wonder? I'm sure like, the pedophile was like, please keep this money to keep Disneyland right? open. Yeah. yeah, he's like, without Disneyland, I'll have nowhere to go. And people are gonna be in the comments like, it's Disney World. Disney it World was, is in Florida. We know that. We Shut know up, that. Man. Shut up. You belong in the prison he's building. <laughs> <laughs> Micah, that's a good one, though. That's, that's funny. Good. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Snodgrass, who you got? Sure. Well, only if you haven't done this one before, because I was you, you were like, people have done Hitler. Which yeah. Is, I can't believe. Yeah, uh, I know. But, <laughs> uh, has anyone done Steve Jobs? I wrote down Steve Jobs Whoa, to do today. Oh. That's you... crazy. Is it the anniversary of his death or something? No. I was no, just... go ahead. Do Steve Jobs. I'll find someone real quick. No, we can both do Steve Jobs. There's a lot to do. Okay. No, right. you go ahead and do it. like, no, I got to fucking. I really had nothing. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Tim's bit about Steve it, Jobs. I didn't have any, like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write any roast jokes or anything, but I just, I, I worked for Apple for a long time. Oh, And yeah. people love to come to the Apple store and be like, you know, the company was better when Steve was in charge. Yeah. And it's like, he created... A Wait, he don't, they don't like Tim Apple? They don't like Tim Apple as much, I guess, <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, he it wasn't better. Like, I, yeah, sure, things are different. Fewer children are jumping out of windows or whatever under Tim Apple. But, <laughs> like, Steve Jobs also was a monster, a sociopath, a pure, just a full psycho. Did you ever meet him? No. Well, fuck you for not ever introducing yourself to my pal Tyler. Yeah, I was an employee of yours. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. You said Rest my pal piss. Tom? She said Tyler. Tyler. Oh. You were just, he was thinking about Tom again. I know. No, he probably wrote the name down Tom, and then he <laughs> read it aloud. Nah. He's like, "Are you? did you say something mean about my friend Podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good. I was just going to rag him for wearing the same thing every day. Oh, all that, all this That's time. all yeah. I ever cared about. Also, please don't come for me if you're a big Apple fan. Uh, everything I own is an Apple product, but also Apple's a cult. Like, and I everything know that I own is, I worked there. Everything I own is Apple because Snodgrass kept giving me discounts. That's right. And, I love And everything I own discount. is Apple because my work pays for my shit. There One time go. I got a big pop at a comedy show because I called Snodgrass. He was hosting. <laughs> and he answered, and he go- oh wait, oh, is it sorry. Sam? No, he answered, and he goes, Tim, yes, you're on. I'm hosting a show with Bobby Buds. What do you need? And I go, I dropped my computer on another computer, and I need to buy a new computer. <laughs> <remember> <laughs> I I dropped a com- I actually dropped a computer on, on a, another computer. I dropped a computer on my computer and I broke the screen. <laughs> and I got a huge pop yeah. and he goes, "Yeah, I can help you out." I go, "Okay, cool." And then <laughs> later he was like, "That was the only thing that got a laugh that whole show. It was one of the worst shows I've ever done." <laughs> <laughs> Was that was that Red Lobster comedy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a yeah. bad show. <laughs> really bad show. Chris is trying to bring it to New York. <laughs> I know, I know he is. I uh, I'm gonna speak ill of the dead guy that was in the Logan Paul video in the Japanese suicide forest. Oh. Hey, bro, <laughs> you had more to live for. You shouldn't have killed yourself. Yeah, you and didn't know you were gonna be on a viral <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't deserve to be in a viral video. I do. So rest in piss, you little bitch. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, uh, that was a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time for sign offs. I'll go first. Okay. This is how you do it. You gotta say signing off, and then you do your sign off. Okay. Signing off, it is I, the greatest man who has ever lived, your Patreon dad, your free feed best friend, Timothy Grady McLaughlin the second, the one hundredth episode guy. Thank you. And signing off, it is me, the nicest woman in the world. (laughs) Uh, The one who can, well, someday pin down Bonnie McFarlane the Great. Yeah. Friend of me, maybe. (laughs) 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 Um, The woman who refuses to keep pulling ropes of Tim's cum out of the drain. Oh, my God. It is me, (laughs) Toe's mom. Timmy's girlfriend, Tyler's friend, and your friend and podcast host, Micah Fox. And signing off, it is me, 
podcast himself. <laughs> the people's Bonnie McFarlane. <laughs> Friend to Tim and Micah. Notoriously quiet. Uh, mirror bald of many a comedian. <laughs> and... All around good guy, somewhat recent country music fan, banjo playing bitch, Tyler Snodgrass. Podcast himself from Viva La Pod. All right, everyone, I hope you guys have a great Great rest of the day. day. Was I supposed to do that too? (laughs) No, it doesn't matter.